How long were you going to keep it from us? Yeah, what was the point? We'd be the last to out you. Why did you lie to us? I bet Evelyn knew. She didn't. But you told Robert. Found out on my own. <laughs> Guys. As accommodating and supportive as you two are, and as, as stupid as this might sound, I still get scared of judgment. Why would we judge you though? I'm not saying you would. It's just how I felt. I needed some time to build confidence. Fair enough. Don't side with him so quickly. I'm not. I just think he should share when he feels comfortable. Is that a crime? Yes! It is a crime to act so mature. Can't you let your anger get the better of you for once? I'll be angry when I need to be. That's how you agreed with me that we'll expose Evelyn to everyone. But you went soft in the last minute. Ah, I told you we get no satisfaction from it. I explained. Even though. Even though. Oh, wait. What about Evelyn? Of course, that one interests you. Come on. Is this still about the competition thing? Like Olive said, our words are wasted on you. Olive. It's okay, Adam. Just keep being the nice, understanding guy that you are. That wasn't a compliment. She's a conniving pretender. That's not true. Did you really think she randomly replaced me in the decathlon? That she innocently wrote that expose for your campaign. That she truly had nothing to do with the rigged competitions. That she's had no motive this whole time. You truly think her incapable of that much evil. But you've determined that we, we, us, Esther and I, are the ones who are mistaken. You are naive. Good one, Olive. Olive, you have summed me up. Deep down, I've known all this about Evelyn. I saw the signs, but I was too scared to admit it. Scared for what? So much around me had changed. I guess I just wanted to believe that the sweet, funny Evelyn I grew up with hadn't. But I'm not acting blind anymore. I'm just sad that things are this bad between us. Yeah, you lost me there. I'm going to bed. Olive. <clears throat> Esther, I need to tell you something. Should we go to your room? Actually, no. I need to do this here. I haven't told you guys this because I was too ashamed and embarrassed. But now I know there's no reason to be. I'm just sorry I kept this secret too long.
What do you mean test anxiety? Ow! Ow! What? Ow! Are you crazy? How can you keep something like that to yourself? I wasn't even sure how to deal with it. How am I supposed to explain something I don't understand? Don't you know how to ask for help? Do you have to understand it before you say you're going through something? She actually doesn't know how to ask for help. She's too used to being the problem solver. Nobody asks you, Adam. Shut up, guys. That's not all. What more? What? Maybe you decided to join the monastery and didn't tell us. <gasps> Baron dropped you, didn't they? What? Yes, they did. <laughs> it was inevitable. And that's it. All my secrets. You know what? You two are incredibly selfish. You know everything about me to the shape of my intestines. Esther, things aren't always easy or convenient to share, even with your best friend. Yeah, we wouldn't intentionally keep things from you. You know that. And I imagine you have your own secrets. Everyone does. I have not kept anything from you guys. Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, good night. I'm going home to the people who love me the most. My parents! Ah, <sighs> that girl. She should have been an actress. <laughs> Aren't you leaving? As soon as I'm certain that we are okay. Hmm. Come and go with your friend before he finishes all the food in my house. Robert. Hmm? Uh, leave some hot coconut. I've never been such a tangled mess in my entire life. Never been one to lose focus. Never been one to absentmindedly visit the workplace of the boy I like, even though I know he's off work today just because I miss him. <sighs> Romeo. Yes? I hear his voice even when he's not there. Iris. I've gotten very good daydreaming. Romeo! Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I'm working. But you're not supposed to be working today. I know because I asked your manager and he said you're not supposed to be here. Hmm. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What are you doing here? Were you hoping not to see me? I was praying I wouldn't see you. Excuse me. Hold on, sis. See. You've been running away from me these days. Picking up fights for no reasons and making things complicated. What exactly is wrong? Because you clearly ruled our feelings the other night at Felix now, so what is it? Why do you care? Why are you even friends with Ivy and me? What sort of question is that? See, eh, Romeo. Or oh, you think I asked you if you liked me because I don't know you do? What? I don't like to play dumb. I think it's cruel to play other people's feelings and I never would intentionally play with yours. But I don't let you know I know when a girl likes me. If you're so clever, why didn't you speak up sooner? Did you enjoy watching me make a fool of myself? I was surprised. It took me a second to catch on. And you're the last person I imagined would fall for you. Yeah. Me too. And I'm equally as surprised. I don't know what to do, how to act, what to think. All I know is I have these feelings and I don't know where to put them. And I think I'm even more terrified because I know you don't like me back. Hi. Yeah. Pathetic. I've become pathetic. Iris, I care about you. I'm not lying, I swear. I'm not just trying to make you feel better. You know my priorities. I can't risk getting distracted. I can't afford it. There's too much at stake. 
I know. I know. I double checked the requirements for Baron. Okay, how's the transition going? Uh, Omo, can't imagine switching at this point in time. I salute you, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is it going? Are you all set? I think I'm short on some extracurriculars. Really? Yeah. I was working with Miss Justice on my portfolio and it's stressing me out. I don't know how I can make it up. I can't join any clubs until next term, but by then, it'll already be too late. Hmm. That is a problem. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't affect my application too much. Baron wants a well-rounded student. And I'm not rounded enough. Islam is square. Don't worry, you can round you up. Hmm? I should even be thanking you. If you didn't convince me to do the mix-up performance, I wouldn't have been able to add it to my list. Mm. Oh! What? What do you have? Drama Club is looking for new actors for their play. I saw it in last week's Students' Press. Really? When's the deadline? Eh, I'm not sure, but they meet every day after lunch. Should go. Ah, that's how you're a lifesaver. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't even know where to start. Imagine being in the middle of it. I don't envy you. Just my luck. You were living in a dream world while reality was passing. Yeah, you weren't much help either. I was just being the supportive friend that you needed. But Evelyn though. What's about her? I mean, she's pretty and cool and all that, but I don't think I can still be true with her after knowing all she has done. You know, I could have forgiven her if she was just making mistakes, but it's so unsettling to discover that her every move has been intentional. Looking back, I don't even think she was trying to hide it. Good afternoon, Ma. Are you still taking new participants? Yes, come in. Thank you, Ma. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, old and new faces. Experience tells me that this would be the only participation in the drama club for many of you, but still, you're welcome. Good afternoon, Ma. Yes, settled out quickly. Why are you here? Extracurriculars. You? Since Evelyn ruined the competition, I have to find other ways to boost my portfolio. Seems like she had the same idea. She's here. <clears throat> the play we are performing is titled The Lion and the Jewel, a classic by Wale Shoyinka. You're all expected to read the book, but in summary, it's about a village head and a modern man who tried to win the title of Village Belle, CD. We'll be casting for CD's character today, amongst others. I'm happy many of you are eager. CD is a village beauty, arrogant and all too aware of her prowess and a bit self-obsessed. Sounds like they're describing Evelyn. A bit foolish too. Oh yeah, definitely Evelyn. There's a list of all the available roles. 
pass it around. What are you auditioning for? I don't know yet. Maybe. I don't care. Just make sure it is not seedy. I don't need the competition. Fine. It'll just be some rando in the village square. Sheesh. Not like you care. Mrs. Frank? Yes? I'm interested in the CD role. Okay. I'm glad you are. It's a leading role and a real challenge for your acting skills. Have you done any acting before? Not really, but I'm a quick study and I believe I would interpret the role with your guidance. Um, Mrs. Frank, I think the perfect choice for this role is Evelyn. I've done a lot of acting. You won't need to worry too much about me. I'm good. No surprise there. Your whole life is an act. Yes, Olive, are you also interested in the role? No, ma. I just want to make my own nomination. Hmm. Go ahead. Tracy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm nominating you. Me. Why not? You're an amazing actor. You've been in more plays than the rest of us, and you know your stuff. I think the role should go to a long-standing member of the drama club. And she's earned it. Why does that matter? The role should be given to whoever best interprets it. Uh, Mrs. Frank. All right, calm down. You all audition for the role and will pick the best interpretation, OK? Does that seem fair? Yes, ma'am. So, who else is interested in Sid's role? Sure. Everyone, write your name and the role you're interested in so we can get the audition sorted. I'll be back soon. Mm. This one, all of you are rushing for this city's part. Hope you know you're also supposed to look the part. It's not just being able to play the part. City is someone that all the men desired. She was the jewel of the village. Those of us who have been in a drama club and know the place should pick the person. What are you trying to say? That we need a conventionally pretty girl to play CD. I don't get. You're not exactly our first choice. Let me guess. Evelyn is. What's wrong with Iris being CD? She's a literal black beauty. If anything, you should be criticizing her acting, but she already said she wouldn't be lacking there. Thank you, Olive. Since everyone is too afraid to say it, I will. Iris and Trace's looks don't exactly fit the bill. What? The bill of what? The star of the play. <sighs> when we used to cast for roles in my American school, a person's looks were a huge factor. Not just for plays, but for film and television too. Can you imagine Benedict Cumberbatch playing Iron Man instead of RDJ? No offense to Benedict, he's a snack, but he's way more suited for Doctor Strange, right? Yes. Both of them successfully played Sherlock Holmes. So, you see, according to the laws of common sense, it only makes sense that the actor who plays City should in fact be a visual jewel. Yes. Now I'm not doing this to put any of you guys down but only to preserve the sanctity of the stage. It's in everyone's interest. Evelyn, you know damn well you're doing this to boost your own ratings, you selfish pig. <gasps> Iris, why would you say that? That was uncalled for. Very rude. What kind of a DHP is she? Look, guys, if this is going to cause a fight, I will more than happily step down. Evelyn, don't step down. You just said the truth. Marilyn, Shabi, you know if you play the role, you can't wear glasses. Ah, why not? How is she serious without her glasses? No need to attack me, ma'am. It's just a fact. Harris is too black. If she plays the role, people would need touchlight to see her beauty. <laughs> At least the beauty is there, unlike you. Trace's face is like a greater. <laughs> I don't even think makeup can help her. She's a tomboy and she don't even have the physique and feature that fits the role.
this side. So you buried your mother? I guess I did, but she was not old enough. Mm, parents never are. She was healthy. Last time we were together, she was dancing, we were laughing together. Then she slept off. Then she called for us. Immediately I let whatever I was doing and off I went. I understand. I'm even surprised. I still have a job because I never took leave properly. It's not every day a child gets to hear that their parents are going to die. I'm so grateful you gave me a chance to explain myself. It's okay. It's okay. Now, Luz, about us. No, I don't want you to rush into anything on my account. I'm fine, really. See, when I was back in the village, trying to get myself together, I thought about us, our friendship, and the kind of blessing that you have brought my way. <laughs> What's wrong? I just started to feel overwhelmed. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you under any kind of pressure. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Um, it's just my motherly instincts, I think. <sighs> you see, as a mother, I can never plan my life as an individual. Every move I make must always be in the best interest of my child. I'd never dream to make Olive any uncomfortable. I know. Good. Uh, that's why uh, I think you should meet her. Oh. Okay, that's enough. You should be better. Why don't you want to go to the nurse? If I go, the disciplinary committee will open a school violence case against Tracy. And that's not what I want. It was an accident, and that girl got what she deserved. Hey, ow! Serves you right. Other people were throwing punches, and you jumped in like the She-Hulk or what? Next time, don't mind your business. Holy! Oh my God! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please let me take you to the nurse. Nah, no need. Nothing a little ice can fix. I'm sorry. It's okay. I would have reacted the same way if she said it to me. It was untrue and evil and rude. Are you in trouble? Yeah, I thought Mrs. Frank would have killed you guys. <laughs> no, she let us go. All is fair in love and what she said. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Frank is weird like that sometimes. But anyway, I'm not auditioning for CD anymore. Why not? You heard what they said. I'm not the type. All those are lies. Sure, there's a point in casting correctly, but that's why you're such a good actor. I think you have what it takes to play the role. Really? Yeah. So you weren't just using me to look for trouble? Of course not. I would never. Anyway, I'm not letting you quit. Just hang in there. I'll convince everyone else. I admit, I would love to do a lead role before we leave school. But don't go through unnecessary trouble. Uh, 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 I'm not hearing anything. You are playing silly. That is that. Olive! Leave her. Let her be. She won't be Olive if she does not fight for a lost cause. Maria. Maria. Mm? I need your master, please. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to our study dates. Black eye and all. <laughs> Don't act like you're not proud of your black eye. Acting like you got it from fighting for your country. Even better, I got it fighting for my friend. <laughs> More like your friend elbowed you in the eyeball while defending herself. <laughs> Anyway, take your time and rest. 
It's not like I need to study this anyway. Right. You said you got a new tutor. Since when are you willing to get a new tutor? I've had one since my whole suspension fiasco. I guess I just forgot to tell you. Oh, you just forgot to tell me? Wait, what? Oh, look, see Maria there. Where? You wanted to ask her if you could gain points from the press club, remember? All right. Maria! Where did she go? She was just here. You must have seen wrong. Why are you running? Um, what do you mean? You've been acting strange. Even avoiding your friends to the point of hiding. I'm not. Why do people bother to lie after they have been caught? I'm sorry. I'm not attacking you. I just wanted to know what's going on. But you don't have to. No. It's fine. I feel people will find my reasoning silly. Try me. My, my mom doesn't want me hanging out with Olive or Esther or basically anyone that could jeopardize my scholarship. How this? My mom works for Evelyn's family. So basically, they use me to keep her in line. And they use my scholarship to keep me in line. The last time we protested against the school's corrupt practices, they pulled on the leash, metaphorically speaking. Yeah, I understand. You're not silly. You're just trying to help your family. That's brave. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, please don't tell anyone about this. Thank you. I have to go. I'm so busy these days, but at home and at school, the press club won't run itself, you know. Of course not. Mommy, good afternoon. Welcome. I'm going to change first. Great. Maria. I hope you remembered what I said to you the other day. I hope you have not disobeyed me. Have not. Maria, are you sure? Because I know how close you are with those girls. But I'm telling you now, your friendship with them might cost us everything. Mommy. Maria. I've told you to keep peace with Miss Evening. Since your scholarship and my job depends on our family. Please, I am begging you. Avoid anyone on her bad side. Even if they are right and she is wrong, I should just continue to bow to her because she has money. Yes, money is power and we have neither. You don't have the luxury of fighting for justice. And one wrong move might cost us everything. I know. Sweet girl, please, put your heads down. Do not look left nor right. Focus on your books. Because if anything happens, you will end up being collateral damage. And your rich friends will come out unscathed. Please. Don't worry, mommy. Head. Don't Go inside. Don't follow. Do enjoy yourself.
Let's go home. No way. She I told you to invite your friends too, but you refused. Leave me alone. If I squeeze that your head in. Good afternoon. That wasn't awkward at all. Of all the people and of all the places in the world, I think he's coming over. As expected, he's so nosy and annoying. What are you doing here? I'm sitting with my friends. I mean, what are you doing in this area? Oh, this is the place where I wanted to come to. You always have an excuse. This one is legit. How would I know I would meet you guys here? Why didn't Romeo sit with us? You think he wants to hang out with little girls? You guys just drill and make him uncomfortable. <sighs> Did something happen? Why are they so awkward? <clears throat> you guys know Iris was in love with my brother, right? It was yeah. Obvious. <sighs> he totally rejected her. <sighs> That's too embarrassing. That's why I will never ever like any boy. The end result is always disgrace. Abby, it's embarrassing. We already had two boyfriends. Forgive her. She's a pushover. And my brother is so clueless. He's not even letting her hold on to the last of her dignity. He's so pushing, totally insensitive. You're <sighs> only saying that because he's your brother. What did I just say about boys? Thanks for coming early to do this for me. Waking up early wasn't even the hard part. It's getting past your mom that had me sweating. <laughs> she wanted to know what shady business the two of us have been up to these days. Sorry. I've had to keep avoiding her, which has been surprisingly easy. She's been really preoccupied. Mm. Anyway, the girls did their audition for CD's role. Oh, here are the results today. I mean, good on Iris for giving it her best. But to me, Tracy was the best option there. I hope Tracy wins. Me too. Stay still. Iris looked so mad all week. I was mad and it wasn't even me they insulted. And to think they said it to their faces too. Or more. Instead of getting educated, people are getting bolder at airing their ignorance. I know I struggle to get over people's perceived opinions of me. A moment like this can take years to overcome. Even for strong-willed girls like Tracy and Iris. I assume you want to do something about it. I'm not sure yet. This is the mindset we're fighting against. Colorism and inferiority wrapped up in one. It would have been okay if they'd made their judgment after seeing the girls perform. But they were already biased based on looks alone. That means they didn't even care who the better actor was. I get that Sidi's character is supposed to be beautiful, but everyone perceives beauty differently. Mm -hmm. And I think that Iris and Tracy are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Chief Justice Olive Lane. And I'm going to make a ruling on this case. Maria always found a way to be in solidarity with us. So you think the 
that she's not good enough Skinny and pretty, yeah, that's you But you forget a major point what? Just cause you think it don't make it true You're blind and you're colonized Inside your mind hypnotized By pale-skinned opinions and standards You so bleach your brain to think That melanin girls don't meet Your false sense of beauty that's slander Did you say that she's not cute enough? On account of some acne That's right, man Like you've never had a major boy It'll never Dimples go, but you always be mean Please, Olive, give me a break It's not that deep, for goodness sake I'm a princess and you'll always be the P There are enough fit to play the part It demands a work of art I just kinda see how it's anyone but me By the way, girls like you scream, pick me You're blind and you're colonized Inside your mind hypnotized By pale-skinned opinions and standards So bleached your brain to think that melanin girls don't meet your false sense of beauty that's slender. Your thoughts are unorganized. How dare you hypothesize that what's on the inside don't matter? That's what I'm the girl say. Oh, beauty is subjective. It's what our brains perceive, so you can't determine what's standard. Oh, you won't be the one to say who's Result. So who got CD? Oh my god. Ah, I got the rope! Alim, I got the part! What? Don't worry guys, I'm taking this up to the school. Just know Evelyn, you can't buy, bribe, and cheat your way out of everything. Mrs. Frank would rather be fired than be bribed. Then fired she is. <laughs> Wait. You fire Mrs. Frank? No, you can't do that. Wait, no, guys, I was just calling her bluff. We all know you cut corners to get what you want, Evelyn. Stop deceiving these poor girls. This doesn't concern you, Olive. Doesn't it? After all, you've plotted your way through every difficulty you've ever faced up until now, stepping on any and everyone. I'm telling you guys, she won't waste one more second before stepping on you too. It's always her before the team. <laughs> always. You're all beneath me anyway. I don't know why I try to please you by stooping so low. <laughs> I'd better not catch your crusty ass back at drama club. What was she even doing here in the first place? Trying to see everyone shine, no doubt. I felt guilty at my choice of words. I usually wasn't the type to tear people down no matter how much they deserved it. But I was glad that more people were starting to see Evelyn for who she was. Esther would have loved this win. Where was she anyway? Busy day. Indeed. Busy brainstorming, but nothing I can't handle. Ah, it feels so good to be back on the grind. What grind are you back on? The good old grind of solving a problem that isn't mine. Okay. I didn't appreciate the good old days when life was simpler. I've learned my lesson and I'll do better from now on. Olive. See that I'm getting old or you are speaking in parables. Either way, I'm glad you are more like your usual self. Thanks, Mom. What happened to your eyes? Oh, this? I uh, walked into a pool a few days ago. The worst has passed. Seriously? How can you keep something like this to yourself? It wasn't that painful. I already did first aid and now I just wanted to breathe. The eye itself looks fine, but I still want a doctor to look at it. Okay, but I saw the school nurse and she said there's no trauma, just a reaction to the force or something. I promise, I'm not lying. I don't want to end up blind. Okay. If it gets worse, I have to know. Okay. Don't play with injuries like that. Okay, mom. Olive, I need to talk to you about something important. Well, how do I begin? 
there's no easy way there's there's mommy is everything okay mm. yes of course i've just there's someone i'd like you to meet his name is mr denny kevin kevin is that the friend you've been seeing for a while now? Yes. I guess you would have caught up on that by now. A thought has crossed my mind. I think it's good you meet. Though it's not serious, but it's serious enough for you to be in the loo. And you're the smartest person I know, so I'll need your opinion. Of course. Why not? Okay. I'll, I'll let you know when. Cool. I'd never seen mom struggle to talk about anything before in her life. It was awkward enough, so I would try to act like it was no big deal. Besides, I had my own problems to solve. I'd promised to avenge Iris and Tracy and I would focus on that. But I was too terrified and I'm sure she was too. I used to pop and pick my pimples a lot, Sha. It was so satisfying. I know. It gave me really bad scars, and it's a terrible habit too. Yeah, popping a pimple on your face causes wounds and the dirt from your fingernails and the air infected. I learned that the hard way, and I used to change my products every few days just because I thought they weren't working. Uh-uh, is that a problem? I recently switched to one brand my sister recommended. How long were you using your old one? Like, two weeks or so. That's no good though. I made my skin worse last year with frequent changing. I do a nine step routine in the morning. It gives me this flawless glow. Nine, nine steps. steps? Ha! Why are you shocked? I've seen some celebrities with 26 steps. Yeah, that doesn't sound right or sustainable. Why do you even bother yourselves with routines? You can't honestly attribute your clear glowing skin to these many products because you're young. Good skin comes with the territory. Me, I just scrub my face with sponge and soap and rub cream. Simple. Soap and what? Not on your face too. Please my dear, the harsh chemicals can also take it all. Ah, then what am I supposed to use? It works well for me. When I turned 16, my mom gifted me with a routine and instruction. Keep it simple. Now I use just a gentle face wash, a moisturizer and sunscreen. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds doable. Some soaps are harsh on facial skin and over time they strip the skin's moisture. And people like me that break out easily need something gentle and effective. I know it's going to take some time for me to see results, but I just need to stay consistent. So, what do you recommend for me? Since our skin is young and quick to repair itself, we just need a routine that is gentle enough for daily use. Or see a dermatology for one's professional recommendation. Wow, Trace, you know a lot about this stuff. I struggled a lot with rough skin and pimples and acne, and my self-esteem suffered a lot too. But I think educating myself and seeing other teenagers online go through the same thing as me with much more confidence has really helped. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone has something they are dealing with, so we must all be kind. Yeah, nobody is perfect. I have eczema. I sweat too much and it makes me really self-conscious. I have really dry skin and I get itchy when it's too hot. <laughs> See, we're all dealing with something. But well, scars don't make us any less beautiful. You're right, but let me say this one now. You guys must avoid any so-called lightning creams. Ah, uh, why? My sister uses one. It will bleach her skin. It's just to even out her skin tone and reduce dark spots and blemishes. Well, usually lightning, brightening, whitening creams are just repackaged bleaching creams. Why do dark skinned people even need to lighten or whiten their skin? All we need are products that moisturize and richen our melanin. Black and proud, like James Brown said. You see? She was arguing with me that she knows what she's doing. Well, you just need to do your research and show her the facts. It's like that video we saw on YouTube. What video? <laughs> <laughs> what do we say? The bleaching cream. No sun, not me, not my skin. Lighting, brightening, even don't cream. No sun, not me, not my skin. If 
if only be light or bright one, even turn the lights. Who's that skin? I have a skin. That skin queen shine bright, that's right. Go on, girl. Where you at? Where you at? I really need to start watching way more TV. Olive. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Didn't you see Esther's text? Oh, I was a little busy. Sounds important. Yeah, um, I thought you'd at least know what it was about. I don't. I guess we'll find out when she gets here. I should return to my friends. Uh, can we talk in the meantime? Adam, Olive, glad you guys came. Why? What's up, David? It's Evelyn. She's on her way here right now. Why? Did something happen? It will. And now find you here. Can I still join us? Wow. An invite from David himself. I'm honored. What are you doing here? I was born at home. Decided to step out and mingle with the locals. This one you're all sitting here like this. Must be really important. Everything's here. David? You didn't tell me the whole gang would be here. Would you have come if I told you? Not really. I'm avoiding some people. Sit down, please. What's this about? By now, it must be obvious to all of us that Evelyn is not a sincere person. And that's putting it mildly. David, what are you doing? This whole time while she's been chasing after Adam, she's been chasing after me too. David, wait. Not here. I don't mind if I hurt her feelings, Adam. I'm not you. I don't like pretentious people and I strongly believe they should be called out before they cause the wreckage. Wait. Is this supposed to be some kind of intervention? Did you all agree to humiliate me or something? Nope. All my idea. Well, you're wrong, David. And all of you too, especially you, Adam. What exactly are we wrong about? Evelyn! Small little bitch. Evelyn! All of you keep falling for her little ass, but I can see right through it. Please calm down. Let go, you're hurting me. Am I really? You're just a pretty face with an empty soul. One day, you'll wish you didn't reject me. I guess the show is over. They go. That girl has issues. She's been calling my phone and texting me. She might be obsessed. Yeah. Esther, where have you been? What happened? What did I miss? Alright guys, catch you later. Okay. So, Evelyn likes Adam. And David too, apparently. What? Did she confess? Oh, and she hates Olive Guts. Eh, uh, old news. <sighs> well, that was entertaining. But I'll take my leave now. He just got here. <sighs> Let him go, Adam. I have something to tell you guys. Oh, right. Good night, Roberto. Come on. Peace out, guys.
David, wait, please. I'm sorry for my outburst. I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment. Enough with the pity party, Evelyn. Do you even know what it means to be sincere? Loyal? To be real? You teach me, right, David? You're psychotic. Maybe I am. You need help. I mean it. Uh, tell us what's going on. I got in. Got it to where? Congratulations. You have been selected for the May June Gridlock Boots Camp. Gridlock? What's that? Only the biggest online news agency in Africa. Esther has been obsessed about them for the longest. Oh, congratulations. But I don't understand. How will you attend? We have work. That's just the thing. I won't be attending. I won't write the exam. What? Why not? Because this is greed luck. Only the best of the best get in. You guys know I was never good at school. You know I was going to bomb the national exam anyway. No, you weren't. Then I was going to suffer through it. And what's the point? Esther, you need your final exams to get into university. I will write the final exam next session. I don't, I don't think... Some things are not as important to me as they are to you. Listen. <clears throat> I'm sorry I kept this away from you guys, but... Honestly, I didn't think any of it was going to work out. Even if I do all the traditional approach, who's going to offer me work? No one. Not in this economy. So if my passion is going to save me in the end, why can't I start on it now? I just wanted to share the good news with you guys, but you guys aren't even happy for me. No, we are happy. We're just confused. Okay. Esther, why can't you go for the boot camp next year? Hmm? Why do you have to abandon school and go in such a rush? Because they picked me this time. I'm not really excited. I'm not the type of girl that gets lucky with these things. This is a real chance to chase my dream and I'm going to strike while the iron is still hot. I won't wait till next year when I lose my luck and someone else takes my spot. Won't you graduate with us? I'll try to make it back. That is, if some more lucrative offer doesn't come up then. What do your parents say? I already convinced them. Mom will go with me, make sure I'm safe. You're breaking up the band? No. You did that the moment you brought Evelyn here. We'll always have each other's backs, right? So much for that.